this um, this clip from John McDonnell, I think, is very interesting because, as part of the neoliberal critique, economic approach, he's talking about the university's investment in real estate, uh, especially student accommodation, but I think it could also be buildings and uh, hotel aspects, um, which was also mentioned as part of the discussion during the strike in, in rent strike in Manchester and also now the national rent strike. So I haven't included longer clips from the recent event. I'm just going to concentrate on this one for the, for the moment, just to get over the idea that it isn't only ed tech that is introducing commercial aspects to the campus or UK universities or universities on the planet. Uh, this has been going on with the with the real estate, uh, and so I found out a little bit more about the about the hotels that are planned for Manchester. Uh, it's a nineteen story building, and there'll be two brands, two hundred and twelve room Crown Plaza, and one hundred and sixteen room Staybridge Suites, and. It's a general purpose sort of hotel, but the, the business school is, is definitely part of it. Um, Professor Fiona Devine, head of Alliance Manchester Business School, said, this is a major milestone for this landmark development and we look forward to offering a flexible choice of accommodation for visitors to the university, the business school and the wider city. So I, I don't know what the cost of the hotel is, it's a it's a billion pound master plan to transform the campus. So I I just ask the question: um, Would investing in a an, an online platform have been a better investment? Um, I think I think that's a reasonable question for business schools in in the in the UK, and comparing it, for example, with um, what the Open University invested in FutureLearn when Peter Horrocks was Vice-Chancellor and the £50 million that um, Seat Group paid for a 50% uh, stake in FutureLearn.